Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for January 2023. I do hope you guys have a wonderful new year. Um, I am going to take a quick second here just to remind you that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. Also, please keep in mind that the monthly readings are a bit predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring right now, they could occur in the next few weeks. All right, so let's get started, Virgo. Spirit, what would you like Virgo to know for the month of January? All right, Four of Wands, okay. <laughs> so there's a celebration in here in January. Some of you might even be uh, getting married, getting engaged, possibly moving in. Um, it just refers to moving to a higher level of commitment and the celebration that accompanies that. Let's see what's crossing that. Now, this could also indicate, um, it could also indicate marriage as it affects you. Eight of Swords, okay, so there's concerns, there's worry. You have concerns and worry. You're up in your head about this. Let's see what's happened in the past, Virgo. You might be obsessing about this a little bit. The Ace of Swords. So there was a, uh, most likely a big conversation. There was definitely clarity. You got some clarity regarding this issue. Let's see why all this is happening. Karma, karma in reverse. Now that's interesting. Okay, so with karma in reverse, that's why all this is happening. There's negative karma at, at, at play, huh? Um, let's see what's on your mind. Show me what's on, okay. The nine of cups in the reverse. You may be fearing, this looks like a fear. You may be fearing that you're not going to get what you want in a situation. Or you may be thinking about um, that you haven't gotten what you want. Hmm. So I'm wondering if this is marriage that is affecting you. Um, what is happening in the month of January? We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. So there's been a painful situation, Virgo, that is healing in the month of January. Possibly even a third party situation. This is something you would have had clarity on in the past. And this is all happening because uh, karma basically is taking effect here. There's, um, it's a balancing. So let me see how you're showing up. Show me how Virgo is showing up in this reading, please. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so you're showing up with a loss here. Now this could be a financial loss. Um, or it could be a loss of a stable relationship. The energy coming towards you is the high priestess in the reverse. Now, this could be a Scorpio, but this is also the energy of secrets being revealed. Let's see Spirit's advice. Very intriguing, Virgo. Show me Spirit's advice, please. I'm sorry about that. Show me Spirit's advice, please. The tower in reverse. So Spirit is saying um, to avoid a tower so there's going to be a direction on how to avoid a tower moment. Huh. Let's see your outcome. Or it could be about rebuilding after a tower moment as well. There'll be 
there's going to be direction with regard to either rebuilding after already having had a tower moment or information about avoiding this tower moment. Um, we'll clarify to find out. Show me the outcome. Seven of Swords. Okay, this could be avoidance. You may be avoiding something. You could be sneaking away from something as well. Yeah, so your reading is very cryptic. I'm not gonna lie, it's very cryptic. I can see that marriage is involved in this. There's a fear or a thought that you're not going to get what it is that you want in the situation. There's been a lot of pain in the situation, possibly some third party energy and you got clarity on this in the past. It's all happening here because karma is balancing out. You've experienced a loss and you're, the energy coming towards you is that of secrets being exposed. So yeah, we're gonna have to clarify for sure. It's very cryptic. All right, so bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. This is underlying energy, Virgo, and what this tells me is that something here is blocked. Either the connection is blocked, it could be communication for some of you is blocked, um, but there's a blockage here. Now, as this blockage is occurring, there is growth that is occurring behind the scenes, even though it may not appear to be so, you know, on the surface, Underneath the surface, there is there is growth that is occurring. And I just heard the tie that binds. I don't know what that means, but there's I, I heard the tie that binds. All right, so let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Okay, so we have the sun, sign of Leo, and we have the eight of cups reversed. So somebody was unable to walk away from a marriage, possibly because of a child. They felt they couldn't walk away, be possibly because of a child. I see that there's been some clarity. Something may have come out into the light of day. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Could have also been somebody is unable or unwilling to walk away from someone who is married because that person makes them happy. Another Leo card, we have the Strength card and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, there's a, someone is stuck. It could be because of their, their pride. Their pride is keeping them stuck. Yeah, someone is stuck because of pride and arrogance. You're very stressed about this. You think about it a lot. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, so there was a, there was a big argument perhaps in the past, Five of Swords, and you got clarity. So somebody, somebody definitely is in their pride and arrogant. There, there's an arrogance, there's a pride. Somebody is definitely almost in a narcissistic type of behavior here. There's um, the energy of somebody who was just gonna take off everybody's head if it that's what it took, but they were gonna win. Uh, they fight dirty, there's mind games, there's manipulation that occurred. And I feel like you, this altercation really made some things clear to you. You begin to understand some things very clearly. King of Pentacles, someone's married.
someone is married. Yeah, King of Pentacles. And whoever it is that is married is now receiving negative karma. And that's why all this is happening. Somebody kept you stuck. They were unwilling to walk away from a marriage. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Yeah, you're afraid that this person's never going to end this marriage. Four of Wands reversed. They're never going to walk away from this, this marriage. They're never going to end this so that they can be with you. I see. Okay. And now this person, um, I don't know if you're aware of it, Virgo, but this person is receiving negative karma because of this. Um, they've behaved in a way that is very painful, very hurtful to others. They've been prideful and arrogant. They've, they've not behaved well. And I do feel that there was a conflict between the two of you that they were really nasty. This person may have played some mind games and been very, um, yeah, they, they manipulated you felt that this person was your happiness. You thought that they were going to walk away from this this uh, marriage or this connection. It may not even be a marriage. It might be a, another relationship. And they didn't. And you, you realized that they were not walking away. That they were keeping you stuck. Uh, let's look at, so it was very painful, but I see in January, there's going to be a lot of healing. So let's look at January. Spirit, show me January for Virgo. Show me January for Virgo. Okay. So, we have the King of Cups reversed. You could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. We have the Page of Swords reversed. We have the Moon. We have the Empress in reverse. We have the Eight of Coins. We have the Two of Coins, and we have the Hierophant in the reverse. Okay, so let's talk Virgo. All right, so you've had this realization that this person is not actually walking away from this connection. It's been very painful. You, you've really stressed and worried about this a lot. This is all occurring because this person is now receiving this negative karma um, because of not, not just because of the situation, but because of the way they've handled this situation. And I'm wondering if this has been blocked partially, Virgo, in order to protect you. But you enter into the month healing from a third party situation. Um, for some of you and for others, just a very painful situation. Now, the emotions that you experience, you've kind of pulled back. I do see that you pull your emotions back. There is, um, you're kind of closed off a little bit, in all honesty. And you're not really sharing your emotions. I also see a lack of communication with this person. Um, there's a, a sense of just having shut down with regard to this person. And it's because you're trying to heal your energy. There have been secrets and there's been disrespect. And I do feel that you normally, Virgo, carry this Empress energy. And this person refused to treat you with the 
respect or to give you the title that you deserved. I do think for some of you, it has caused you to question yourself as far as your value, your worth. And I do think that that, because it's been difficult, I think some of you have questioned yourself. Um, and I do also think that that's why this connection is being somewhat blocked because it's to protect you. I feel like some of you may be going through, especially around the middle of January, you may go through a little bit of depression. And I see some darker days. I see some, some days during that time where you kind of isolate a little bit and you may kind of, uh, you may kind of question yourself and you may question your choices. You may question your self-worth and your value a little bit. This is, this is normal. And I think we all go through this at some point. The good news is that I also see you determining to put the work into finding the balance in yourself again. And I do think that that's good. So this has been very difficult for you. And I do see this as being a month of healing. I do believe that you will find this Empress energy again. I feel like you are um, normally in that Empress energy, feeling very abundant, but this has been hard. Yeah, it's been very hard. And I, I, I almost feel like this person just kind of like pulled the rug out from under you and, you know, you just went flying. It was this tower moment. So it's obvious to me that this is a building yourself back up after a tower has collapsed. And I'm going to tell you now, this person is not going to escape the karma that comes with that. I do see a lot of you burying yourself in work, especially around the end of the month. And, you know, those bills may hit around the end of the month. So you may be, um, you may be having a little bit of difficulty as far as um, juggling your money at the end of the month. And that sounds about right. It, it, it's after Christmas. But most of you, I feel like you're going to really focus on your work because you're using that as a coping mechanism in order to deal with the imbalance that this connection has caused you. But I'm also seeing that a lot of you, after you go through this period where you're going to be feeling a little bit down and having some difficulty healing, I do see you really working on yourself here. I see you really working on yourself in order to bring balance back into your life. Um, and I also see with the Hierophant in reverse, I see you... I see you, um, you may have an opportunity here to have some sort of connection with this person again. I see you turning it down. There is a ending of a commitment here at the end of the month. And it's either you with this person because you feel that it's an unbalanced connection and you're refusing to have any kind of a connection with this person or it could be that there's an ending of a, another connection so we'll see as we come over here and look at these cards um, we'll see how this ties in I I do see that a mid-month there's a Really, you, you don't know which way to go. You don't know what's going to happen here. You don't know if this person is going to leave um, this other individual. You're still kind of up in the air if they want to work things out with you. Um, but you do know that this is an unbalanced connection. I do see that. Uh, signs that I see, I, I mentioned the water signs. I also see very strong Taurus. I see Libra. Um, earth signs are here. 
So it could be another Virgo like yourself. Um, could also be Capricorn. And we mentioned Leo. So let's look at your energy. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? All right, we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Magician. Wow, so you're manifesting the heck out of um, getting what it is that you want. And what you want is a change. You want a big change. So you've had this ending and you're now manifesting to get what you want. Remember, in your thoughts, you had the fear that you wouldn't get what you wanted. So you've gone into manifestation mode. That's when you start working on yourself. And what you want is a big change. You want this wheel of fortune to begin to turn in your favor. You want things to begin to, the, the good karma to come your way. And it looks like that is going to happen. Yeah, because of you working on yourself and the manifestation here, because you have everything you need in order to get what you want. And that's what Spirit is saying here. You possess everything you need, Virgo, in order to get what it is that you want. And you have some good karma coming your way. Whereas your person from the past, um, not so much. <laughs> so you're going to get unstuck. And you are going to get what you want because you're manifesting that. It's going to happen after this ending. Let's look at the energy coming towards you. You have the High Priestess in reverse. Let's see why that's here. All right, we have the Three of Wands. We have the Hangman in reverse. And we have the Ten of Coins. So, the energy coming towards you is one of a person whose secrets have been revealed. This is somebody that has been waiting, or they are waiting, and there is, they're waiting for the, the 10. They're waiting for the long-term success. They could be waiting for money. It could be a money issue. Yeah, this person could be waiting for um, something to do with money. Ten of Pentacles has to do with money, a large sum of money. Um, and they've been waiting a very long time. They now realize that waiting, this waiting energy, has cost them. Because they're seeing things differently now. They've, they have become enlightened as well. They realize that the secret is out now and they realize that all this waiting that they've done because they have waiting, they have waiting here and they kept you waiting a long time. I do see that money is part of the problem. There's something to do with money. They were waiting for an influx of money. Um, but this person's now looking at everything very differently. It makes me feel as if this person may offer you something here because they're enlightened. They become enlightened. They do have a difficult time trusting their intuition though. So even though they're becoming enlightened, I don't know if they believe, if they trust that intuition. So let's look at Spirit's advice. We have the tower in reverse. Why is that here, Spirit? All right, we have the Five of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups reversed. And we have the Ace of Swords reversed. Wow, okay. So in Spirit's advice, um, Spirit is advising that after this tower moment, that you have to rebuild yourself. And there will be another tower moment if you engage in conflict. So there's there's conflict. Um, if you engage in conflict, it's going to lead to another tower moment. 
That's what, that's what led to this tower moment. So avoid that. And you avoid that by not, not offering emotions and not, not bringing in this conversation. See, it's the conversation that led to the conflict last time. Spirit saying, don't engage. Don't engage and don't give your emotions in this situation. It's going to lead to conflict. So basically, this is a repeating pattern. Like I said, I feel like this person is still in your energy, Virgo, because they're going to come back in and they are going to offer you something here because they're looking at it differently now. And they know they kept you waiting. And I do feel that, I do feel that they have suffered here. They've learned some lessons, but I, Spirit is saying this is going to be a repeating cycle. So let's see, you have the Seven of Swords as your outcome. Why is the Seven of Swords here? You have the nine of wands reversed. We have the three of swords reversed. And we have the knight of wands reversed. Yeah, same message. Spirit is saying that this is um, this person is deceitful. Seven of swords is it's deceit. It's um, it's somebody who is coming in with a lying, cheating, stealing type of energy. It's somebody who's not on the up and up. And the in the outcome, what it's showing me is that you're gonna you're gonna say no. I feel like this person's gonna offer you something, and you're gonna turn them down. Um, because I'm seeing that you're still healing, right? You have this three of swords in the reverse and that you're going to say, look, I, I've learned from this. This was very painful to me. I'm putting this, all these problems in my past. I'm, I'm healing from it. I'm not going to be involved in any third party stuff here. And, you know, with this knight of wands, you, you don't want to, you don't want to deal with a player. You're not going to deal with somebody that's in and out, in and out with this deceptive energy. So you're not even wanting to talk to this person, which is what Spirit's advising as well. I mean, it's simply put, the juice is not worth the squeeze. And that's, that's the bottom line. Like this person has caused so much pain in your life, Virgo, that the juice is not worth the squeeze and you've realized it. And so I feel like um, even when they do come back in, trying to make things work, you're going to realize it's unbalanced. It's not what you want. And it's going to be a repeating cycle if you do let them back in. And it's just not worth it. So, yeah, it looks like you're, you're going to say no. You're going to put an end to that. Bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Now, the lovers is a choice. This is a very big choice in love, or it is a choice between two. And in this case, I feel like it's both. This person that you're dealing with has a choice between two, um, that they're not making a choice, and you have a big choice in love. But it does look like for most of you, you're going to make a choice and you're not wanting to go back into a repeating cycle. All right, I'm going to pull an oracle card and we'll see if there's any final messages before we wrap up your monthly reading. Yeah, the two of you are actually moving in very different directions here, Virgo. They now are receiving negative karma. You're receiving positive karma. Your intentions are very different than theirs. 
your energies are very different. Um, I, I just can't see that the two of you vibrationally are aligned. All right, so your card says, focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Very true. And look, this is a unicorn. I, it's a unicorn. I, I feel like uh, that's, that's you, Virgo. You're a unicorn. I mean, look at your energy. It's so good, but it's, it's so good after this ending. So this person is blocking you from all this good. So, yeah, the juice is not worth the squeeze. All right, Virgo, I hope this has been helpful. And um, I'm hoping to do a yearly spread for you guys. And if I can, I'll get that out for you. But other than that, I will see you in the weeklies. So um, hit the like button if you have resonated with this. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Until I see you next, namaste.